This is Gary from Family Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Can I help you? It looks like you're in here recently, and it looks like we under, we underbilled you for some of the repairs on that. There's an un, there's a balance of two hundred and seventy four fifty for the repairs we did on your parking brake. That was under warranty. It was under less than a year old. Brake itself is under warranty. However, this we we determined was due to negligence on owner's part. What negligence? Uh, just maintenance. Just proper maintenance. What maintenance is to be done on an emergency brake for a vehicle that's under 8,000 miles? I, I don't have all the details. Um, oh, when you get, when you get, Gary, when you get the details, please give me your return call. We can just go ahead and send it to now collections. You're harassing me. I don't care. We'll send it to collections. You're, hey, Gary, go Okay, you understand? You can send it to collections any day you want. It's under I, warranty. Look, I will sue you and I will sue Chrysler. You understand me? So what, we, what would you suggest we do then? It's a warranty vehicle. It's a 2014. There's no negligence on a parking brake that's under 8,000 miles on a vehicle. When you add the big tires and when you add all the, all the different bells and whistles, that breaks the warranty because it makes it a bigger vehicle. It adds weight to it. Now when you now when you have bigger tires, it does not. It's all bolt on. I did not customize anything. Factory brakes, bigger tires is not negligence for the parking brake. You are incorrect. Look at the Chrysler warranty. By putting on different tires does not void the warranty. If I mess with the brake lines, if I change the boost cylinder, if I make a hydro boost cylinder, that affects the brake line. And that does not affect the parking brake. It is what it is. I mean, you're going to have to pay it. I'm not going to pay it. Well, if I can you, tell you that now. Then it's going to go to collections, and it's going to ruin your credit, and we're going to have to repossess your vehicle. You're going to repossess my vehicle that I paid for 100%. That not going to happen, Gary. If you don't make that payment, we'll have no, no choice. Gary, if I don't make, if I don't make my, you're going to do what to me? I didn't. You know, Gary, I'd like, I'd like your phone number, because I'm going to come out with my attorney. Now you're threatening to repossess my vehicle. Talk to Chrysler. I really wish it were. It is. How do you figure? Again, under 8,000 miles. Your parking brake. Third time I had it replaced. Right. So apparently there's something wrong with what you're doing or the parts defective. How many miles does your vehicle have? Right, right now it has 9,100 miles. That's far 9, past. 9,100 miles. That's way past the 8,000 mark. So of course it's not going to qualify for the warranty. It's a 100,000 mile warranty. No, it's an 8,000 okay. mile warranty. And it's, a, it, it's an 8,000 mile warranty for yes. an emergency brake. Yeah, when, when did this happen? And that's how it's always been. I've worked here for 20 years. So I've had three emergency brakes put on. So I'm going to pull up my service records, Gary. So, so it's going to be 8,000 miles from the last service brake that was put on. I'm well within my range. It's Gary, ridiculous. I don't, I don't even use the emergency brake. The only time I use it is when I park on a hill. You're wearing that's them what I'm out. Telling you. You're wearing them out. That's why you're going through so many. I mean, it makes no, no sense. No, no, Gary. You don't, you don't understand. You need parking lessons, buddy. When you I need park parking. On a hill. Yeah, you need parking lessons. You shouldn't even need you know, to Gary, use an listen, emergency. You, 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 Gary, like I said. Do you want to speak to my supervisor? Yeah, I'll talk to your supervisor. Okay, one, oh, on. one second. Hello, this is Brad. Hello, Brad. Hi, is this Stephen? Yes, it is. Hi, Stephen. I was listening to part of the conversation I walked in on. It looks really? Like... And I, I feel like I'm being harassed, Brad, because your your employee is threatening me to repossess my vehicle. You do have a, an unpaid balance of $254 uh, for the repair work done on your uh, parking brake. I think if we if we can just get, work out some type of arrangement there, there will be no need for any type of repossession whatsoever. <laughs> my vehicle anyway, Brad. 100% owned by me. There's no way you're going to repossess it. Is there... The worst thing you can do, Brad, is file that to the credit to the credit bureau and go against my credit for an unpaid balance. That's Steve? the worst thing you can do. Stephen, is there a reason Brad? you're being so mean to me? Brad, your employee was mean to me and threatening me. If you listen to the entire conversation, you'd understand it's 920 at night and then you're making a threatening phone call to me as a, well, and threatening to repossess my vehicle. It tells me I don't know how to drive and park. I'm telling you the vehicle had eight, under 8,000 miles when I brought it to Dodge, okay. your place to get it fixed. Okay, I'm That's the third time within a year I've had the emergency brake fixed. I don't ever use it unless I park on a hill. I never use the emergency brake. It's been replaced three times. Why are you parking on a hill to begin with? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you, do you live in a flat area? Do you, do you know my routine where I drive? I live on a hill myself. I mean, but... if, if the, what's the emergency brake for? If it goes out of gear, the emergency brake there is to slow it down and protect people. That's what the emergency brake is for. 
Okay. There was, the there was also a, a, a bad smell coming from the driver's side. I think that was part of the charge. So Who that's, authorized that? Uh, well, the supervisor on duty. I brought, the, I, brought the ve- I, brought the ve- I brought the vehicle in for an inspection and the sexy emergency brake. Who authorized the other thing? It's the advanced that. inspection? No. The, the, I mean, the smell was just awful. Like, we had three people in there just almost gagging. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Again, who authorized it? I never authorized that repair work, did I? Uh, well, you signed. I signed because it was on, it was under warranty, and I paid for the inspection. Did you Did you read the invoice? Correct. No, I didn't read the invoice. Well, you should you should read before you sign. Well, <laughs> well you should get something authorized before you charge. Ha ha ha! Back to you. Our supervisor authorized the charge, and I really don't appreciate your tone. We're just trying to cur- give you a courtesy call, let you know. I don't I don't I don't appreciate your tone or courtesy because it's been what two and a half months since it's been there. Is that correct? I'm going to go ahead and raise the charge to 374. Raise it to 4,000, Brad, because I'm recording your phone call. You don't know how to record a phone call. <laughs> yes, I. But, well, okay, Brad, that's completely fine with me. <laughs> you're raising the charges up. Doesn't bother me in the least. Stephen, you're one funny guy. You have 30 days to pay. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of those repossession TV shows, but you know, I get a lot. Of, I get a big kick out of watching those. I'm just letting you know, Brad, because I'll find you. You understand me? What do you mean you'll find me? I'm not concerned. You heard me. Are you threatening me? No, I'm being harassed. Is what I'm telling you. I'm making a call, just letting you know what our books and what our records. No, you're not show. making a call. Now you're threatening to repossess my car again. Is that correct? One is of that the, what you just said? You like watching those repo shows and then you left. Am I am I being accurate with this? Is that correct? You're uh, you're insinuating that you're going to repossess my car. So that's the third time, twice from your employee and then once from you. Your employee directly told me he's going to repossess my car. He's going to have my car repossessed. Well, what would you what would you rather happen other than a repossession? Talk to Chrysler and put it under the warranty like it's supposed to be. Never heard of a filter having to be replaced for an inspection. As far as I know, for inspections are turn signals, lights, horns, brakes, and admissions. There's also an odor elimination Correct? kit that was used. For what? For the bad odor that was in the vehicle. What's what's the odor eliminating kit for? The stinky butt smell that was in there. Oh, that's nice. Good for you. That's fine. Look, I don't want any any hard feelings, okay? So what I'm going to do is, as soon as you pay, we won't repossess your car. We'll, no, th- that's fine. we'll throw in a pair of fuzzy dice. Well, that'd be awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure, that's awesome. You have a good night, okay? Mm-hmm. Goodbye.